Today we are going to do a firmware update on an SDEC 4500. To do an update on an SDEC 4500, we need to have London Architect installed on our computer, and we need to have the SDEC connected to our network, and it needs to be the same network as our computer. When you open up London Architect, if you cannot already see the network view, if you select view and network, down here at the bottom a network window will open up and you should see under Ethernet a list of devices, in this case the only device being an SDEC 4500. If you had an SDEC 3000 or an SDEC 4000 it would appear in the same place. Once we have opened up the application, it's necessary to open up the design file. The design file will be sent to you uh, by Harman Technical Support, or it may come on a disk with your SDEC or calibration kit. I go to File and Open, just like any Windows file format. In this case, I'm opening up an SDEC 4500, since that's the model that I'm updating. There are different files for each model as indicated in the file name. Once I open the file, it will load into the software. The software is going to check a few items including the firmware and the currently active DSP and it's going to make sure that whatever is in the box is reflected in our software. The first uh, dialog box I get is telling me that it needs to update the firmware, which of course we want to say yes. It's also going to ask me what to do with the settings that are in the SDEC currently. Normally we select no. We do not want to read the settings that are in the box because we want a fresh install of the firmware and factory reset of all settings. If however, you've already calibrated uh, this system and you have not saved the file, you would want to say yes. And then the settings that are in the hardware would be uh, pulled into the software. In this case we're going to say no. This will give us a factory fresh installation of the software. I want to select load this will load the firmware into the selected SDEC. This can take several minutes depending upon the model that you're updating and the speed of your network connection. Once the firmware is completely loaded, the uh, model name will turn into a green bar and it will say completed updating firmware and I can click OK. I still need to go online. There are two ways I can do this. I can use the menu at the top and come to system and select run. Or down here at the bottom I can select online. By selecting online, I will now try and control the SDEC from my computer, and it's telling me that it needs loading, in this case the SDEC 4500P, and that I'm missing the SDEC 4500X. And true, I have no SDEC 4500X on my network, but I don't need it for updating uh, ESP, which is contained in the 4500P only. Once I click the uh, arrow for needs loading to load all devices, or in this case just the uh, one device, SDEC 4500P, it will wipe out whatever is in there and replace it with what's on my computer.
Once the device has completed loading, you'll see the name, JBL SDEC 4500P in this case, will turn green. That means it's done. I can hit OK. The software will begin communicating with the hardware. And what we'll see here is under system status, it says online. Down here at the bottom, we've got green check marks for online and for operate. We've now completed the process and we can uh, click the go offline button. The software uh, will most likely save the file to the hardware as well for backup purposes only. And we can close the software. as we have completed the process.